Hi guys, today we will be looking at the Jabo UV Sterilizer. So before buying a UV Sterilizer, uh, make sure you have the sizing uh, right for your tank. This would be the generic sizing for UV Sterilizer. It is best for you to check your manufacturer's manual for the right sizing according to your tank. So what I have here is a 36 watt uh, UV Sterilizer. Now let's have a look on what is inside the box. So uh, an aquarium's UV sterilizer design is uh, pretty much standard across all brands and types of UV sterilizer. So right here we have a pretty standard uh, UV sterilizer design. We have the bulb, the glass to hold the bulb and the canister for the sterilizer. To install the sterilizer, we have to first lock the bulb into the holder of the light. So over at the end of the bulb, there is a place where you can snap the bulb into the holder of the light. Once you have placed the bulb correctly into the holder, it should snap and the bulb will be locked into the holder. Next, there is a piece of glass which uh, should be placed into the UV and the glass should be placed inside the UV canister and the glass will be protecting the UV bulb from any water. So if we remove the UV glass and we put the UV bulb inside the glass, and once you have inserted the glass inside the tube, the water will be flowing through the glass and any harmful bacteria that is passing through the glass will be killed by the UV light. So the sizing of the UV and the pump rate of the UV is very important. If the exposure of the water is not long enough, you won't be able to kill any harmful bacteria. So next we will be placing back the glass into the canister. To lock the glass, we just need to spin the holder with the canister. Next, we will be placing the input and output pipe into the canister. And there you go, it is that easy to set up a UV sterilizer. So to test if the sterilizer is uh, working, you can just uh, on the light and you should be able to see a bit of the brightness of the UV. Do take note that you should not expose yourself directly to the light as it is harmful. And once everything is tight and waterproof, it is now time to install our UV sterilizer. 